Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great today. This year, I started my project pan video of 22 pans in year 2022. However, I was not able to update due to XYZ reasons. So now it is kind of my first. It's been three months that I've been using these products, but it will be my first update. And to tell you if I have used the products or not, I've used like maximum seven to ten times in a month. That's it. No slow progress but i am aiming that i will be able to complete depending upon how much i will use which i'll be using more in near future so without any further ado let's get into the video and talk about all the products and how much i have used them but before that do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel as well as click on that notification bell so that you guys can get regular updates when i will be uploading any new video with no particular order i am starting with the product so first of all i'll be talking about the huda beauty foundations which i have one is in the shade paracotta and another one is the shade toffee this one is my contour shade and this one is my highlighting shade i added into my project band because i wanted to completely finish it up because they have been sitting in my vanity for a quite long time so of the product i have used not that much amount of the product but it's a slow and steady race so let's see if i'll be able to finish it up or not and the next one that i had toffee which was 120 gram only one gram of the product is used because two quantity of this and one quantity of this gives my perfect foundation shades so yeah a really less usage but yes claiming to use more in near future next i have a makeup revolution product and it's the makeup revolution hd illuminator the waffle size is almost same not that much of its use i've used like 20 times to be frank but you know using this and you know completely finishing up i think i aimed really high because it will be difficult for me to do that still i'm gonna try it if i'll get bored i'll switch up the highlighter so the starting and the weight right now is absolutely same which is 69 grams no change in that next i have the makeup revolution reloaded blush to talk about the usage you can see that the flower print quite you know flat now it's not the print is diminishing day by day i am so much happy to say that i have used up 2 gram of the product out of 7.5 grams of this product so yeah quite happy 2 gram is already used and you can see this is how it's looking Next, i have this smashbox cover shot palette in a blaze and to tell you about the progress i have used quite a lot especially these three shades have been my constant right now also i'm wearing this shade on my eyes and talking about the overall gram i have in completely used one gram of the product but yeah it's been a progress it's slow but we are coming to the point where i will be able to see some pan in this next again i have an eyeshadow palette i was not sure it was so difficult to use the eyeshadow palette as well as the powder face products because these take a lot time to finish it up and i'm talking about the huda beauty amethyst palette i dropped it somehow and this shade is broken but still talking about the usage i've used it like two to three times for my eyes only and there have been no change in the gram next i have this k beauty hd illuminator powder there has been some consistent change earlier the dip was not that good but now it's actually good and only half of the product is left the gram usage i've used up three gram of the product earlier it was 72 now it's 69 so yeah it will be finished up and the formulation the product is so good i have a pan in this video and i'm talking about this l'oreal oil control oil killer high coverage powder and you can see there is a deep pan a really good pan is in here and i think within two to three months i will be able to completely finish it up because it's summers and you do require a lot of compact and loose powders talking about the gram usage earlier it was 45 grams and right now it's 42 grams so yeah quite a lot of effort on this one. now i have daily life forever 52 pressed eyeshadows these two were the shades one there was already a pan and second was there was no pan but the usage has been none i did not go out i did not feel like to apply heavy makeup on my eyes next i have a mascara and it's one of my fave it's from the essence beauty and it's the fall slash mascara it's the same i'm wearing right now and it gives instant lift to the lashes looks like false lashes 
what else you need so i've been constantly using this and the usage is not that great though it's a 10 ml product but when i weigh in gram because that's the only way i can weigh so it was coming out to be one gram less earlier it was 25 now it's only 24 gram I have a contour with me and it's the liquid contour from la girl correct plus conceal this is their concealer in shade toast it's a perfect contour shade i've been definitely using it but not that much i've used it like five six times overall and there have been no reduction in grams maybe next time i will be able to get like one or two grams of reduction next i have a k beauty contour palette and basically my goal was this to at least finish up these two colors like finish up this one have like a pan on this i've used it like 30 times or more but there have been no progress at all even the texture is not feeling great now it's kind of gritty the powder that is pressed is gritty and not good i had quite a lot of expectations but it's kind of a dud for me as of right now still i am using it and hoping to have some more pan in it i have a duo eyeshadow and it's from sephora it's the sephora colorful duo and this is what it's looking like i've been constantly using this as a transition shade but no such depth is showing and as for the weight it's absolutely same nothing much of the progress i wanted to use it completely this year and i think all the goals that i have made is kind of not possible so i'm thinking of you know revamping the goals let's see i'll try it for another one month and still i've th I, if i'll think some of the you know products are impossible to finish or hit pan i'll just change the goals because the main idea is to actually use the products that you're not using and give some more love other than you know just quickly finishing up the product next i have the maybelline primer which was their fit me dewy plus smooth normal to dry primer now i've completely stopped using it for like quite one month but before that i was constantly using it up and only one gram of the product has been used i'm looking for more usage this month also because i can use it sometimes over extremely dry foundation earlier it was 35 grams and now it's only 34 so one gram usage done i had three lipsticks with me which i added into my project pan and my goal was to completely finish it up see for the sugar one that i have the weights of these three are absolutely same but i have quite used a lot quite a nice usage and i'm sure by end of this year i will be able to completely finish it up next i have the ysl lip stain red shade you can't wear outside because a you have to wear a mask so one to two times i've used it not that much still i am hoping to completely finish it up this year i mean only 20 usage it will be finished for the mac also the gram is same but i have used quite a lot especially as a blush also and you can see that there is quite a tent a good usage of this lipstick has been there so yeah it's a three gram of a product obviously it will take time next i have the eyeshadow studio which i use as my liner and eyeshadow from maybelline and this is what it's looking like there is quite a dent but still i have to use a lot to completely finish it up i have to do some smoky eyes and what not let's see if i will be able to you know have more usage in upcoming months and the gram is obviously the same as it was before i have this melanica brow pomade which is extremely dried out tried using it a lot of times still was not able to use it as it's dry. i don't want to waste my dura line in this anymore so yeah i have switched from this and i have been using my favorite to eyebrow pencil which is from swiss beauty and it's really affordable really cheap just 50 rupees ka ye eyebrow pencil and i'll hoping to completely finish it up so that i can try more good affordable eyebrow pencils the k by katrina ka sizzling mocha eyeliner i have used it like four five times still no drop in the usage but i quite like the liner and i want to use as much as possible this year this is a uh, such a good summer color you can see a really good mocha kind of a coffee color really love this brown shade it's quite unique also another one which is from the color bar eye glide eye pencil and this is the shade emerald charm you can see there is a slight a really slight drop in the length of the pencil but the gram is same because i use sometimes only especially on my lower waterline but it's 
smudges quite easily. I want to use it completely because for just such a small pencil, I paid 250 bucks. So I want to use it for sure. Last I have with me, which I will talk about is this. It's the palette from Morphe, James Charles collection. And this is what the palette looks like. I've created quite a lot of goals on this one. And I want to completely finish it up. At least hit pan on every one of the products. It's quite difficult for sure. Right now, the pans that are still there, there are in total of 11 pans right now. And let's see until next month, how many pans will be there. Again, the product Product, the size remains same it's really difficult it is a, even a small amount of a progress is a progress let's see what will happen next month stay tuned for that and until next time mwah, bye